coming down here. Now this is, let me turn myself around here, see if I can get myself, uh, there we go. So hi everyone, it is Sunday, and as you know, I normally don't post on Sundays, but I really kind of wanted to see how my settlement was doing, and and just kind of do a couple things that, uh, you know, we've been focused so hard on doing the quest. I just thought I'd take a little break from questing, per se, and just um, do a couple of fun things, like visit a base or two, and and um, check on how things are going elsewhere, that kind of thing. So that's what we're gonna go do. Now, I have this uh, little ship that I've got and I haven't put all my stuff away. So I'm gonna take a moment and do that real quick. Um, let's take a moment. Well, that's true, yeah. When when I, uh, if you're watching, you know, we were questing when we found that little green ship, um, and I uh, just haven't worked on it overnight <laughs> night this time. Uh, but I, I thought, um, I thought um, I would go ahead and, and I, I don't think I'll be using it to fly around, but I do want to take another look at it, because um, it, it's quite lovely. It's a lovely little ship. Very deck sized. Yeah, very <laughs> excited. So, okay, I'm gonna keep this. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly, gradually uh, getting a lot of different pieces. Yeah, I'm noticing that. Normally, I have far more carbon than that, but we used a lot. Um, let me see if I can. Um, Oh, what a good idea. Yeah, I ought to put it in the, um... Yeah, I'll put it in the, uh, the ship. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I'll put it in the, um... So, if we encounter... Alright, so we're putting the metal plating in the ship. So, if I encounter a guy who needs metal plating, same deal with the microprocessor. Even though it's gonna be... Right now, it's in my little... <laughs> the little green one. But, you know what? That's fine. That is fine. I got seven suspicious packet arms. Oh, that's nice. All right, that worked. Okay, so let me let me keep clearing this out. We'll keep putting. I got a lot of exosuit upgrade charts here. I think I'll also put that in. Yeah, might as well. There's a lot of stuff I haven't done that I normally do. That yeah. All right, let me pop some of these glass and see if I can get some light for it. Like it heard me. And then we'll keep one for later. But... See. That is very nice. That is an upgrade. All right. Hmm, how shall I handle this? Uh, That is, yeah, it really ought to. Um, what I'm trying to do is kind of move things around here because it should be up here with the life support and the shields like this, in theory. And this is solar power, sprint distance, fuel efficiency. Oh, wait, no, it should be over here. There's the fact that it's hold. This is where... There we go. Now we are talking. Okay. Water over here. Well, that kind of worked out really nicely. We'll leave this here for whenever I get a new... Well, I, you know, no, I don't. I, I think I've used all my heavy spots. There's the jetpack spot, and there's the hazard protection spot. And, uh, the others just... And then the 
hazard protection? Yes, it's a jetpack. It's a right. Well, okay, but, okay. <laughs> if, 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 if we bring it over, it gets us there. Oh, that's the wrong one. That was the wrong one. Solar power sprint distance, life support. It does boost it quite a bit, but I, I think actually the jet pack is the one we want. I very much like to be able to fly, yes, 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 yes. Now, if I could find another pink one or purple one that was like that, that'd be awesome. Um, but what I find is interesting, okay, so there's another power slot, okay, right there. And, and we do have this, you know, it is appropriately higher power. But what I, I, you know, what's interesting is this one also has solar power. In theory, um, I should have gotten a, a white thing here, too. But because it mixes and matches, because we got the life support tanks, the solar panels, print just as a fuel efficiency, um, it didn't light up. Just like it didn't light up by the shield. And and it didn't, didn't really light up um, until I put it together with another... So, it's just what it is, you know, just how they have it organized. But, it does mean that things will be much, much more fun when I'm running, for one thing. I'll run a, a little bit farther, a little bit better. I will have a little more shield, yeah. Alright. Yeah, there we go. I'm sorry, what? Yes. Okay, so we can repair a lot of this. I think I have like most repair kits. Okay, but um, if, uh, I have wanted to mention this, okay, for a little while. If you find that your situation is that you do not have the things that you need, but you need your ship up, and fixed immediately. Keep in mind that you can always come in under your difficulty settings and you can adjust them. You just need the crafting and the purchasing right here. Just put them to free and then apply the difficulty changes and then you can get in there and you can fix things up and make it look better um, or, and do whatever you need to do essentially. Alright, let's harvest a few things here while we're here. Including the uh, carbon. I haven't I haven't done this in a while either. I've been a very lax farmer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of waiting until we act, get the actual farmer, because he could give us a project wanting us to plant things. And so then I have a space to put it in and just say, whoops, there, I planted it. And he'll say, yeah, you planted it. And then I'll be like, okay, now I can remove that plant when I want. You know? <laughs> so, so I'm just holding off, off on that just a little bit. Let's see how much uh, carbon we got out of doing that. Um, we got, we're now almost at 2,000 carbon now. So quite a bit. Oh, 
I didn't, did I? Into the um, and it defaults into the to the freighter. So anything that I've just picked up, like the mordite and the phasium, I'll need to put into the exosuit. There we go. Isn't she pretty? My purple and yellow ship. <laughs> My orange and green deck. I have all sorts of colors going on now. Yeah. All right. So let's do that. That and that. There we go. And let's see. it looks like I need to um, build another nutrient processor, so I have it with me, and that's fine. So I have the nutrient processor with me when I'm on, gr on the ground side, you know. Yeah, I think I, I left it at one of my uh, one of my buildings. Yeah, we're just we're just low key playing right now, so I'm not. That's true, if I... Yeah, well, essentially, yeah, this is kind of showing what I'm doing when I'm, when I'm not actually on. Alright, let's take a moment and accept this here while we're here. Get our colors going here. Since we're not questing, I'm not going to go visit with my, uh, with my guys there. I'll just, you know, wave at them. Uh, here, because, you know, all of these uh, garden rooms have the carbon to grab from. So seriously, if, if you've been, like me, I've been going through the carbon, I've been using it to fight the sediments and, and, um, so I, and do other things. Um, let's see if I can get it. I may not be able to get this one. It's, it's trying to, you know, have me change the bear out, and I don't want to do that. So. Yep. And it, but the, the nice thing is, when you when you have a whole bunch of rooms, you don't actually have to get every single one. It's just, you know, just a good process to gather while you may. Yeah, the fish are basically your hydroponics. I mean, it's not necessarily acknowledged that that's what's going on, but that's what's going on. You know? I already put the fish steaks in the, in the nutrient processor that we got from the other day. I mean, the, the jellyfish were throwing themselves at me, or when the hunter did their prey thing, and I got it anyway. All right, so it looks like I do need to also take some of the rusted metal that we've been gathering. And, um, yeah, let's go refine that real quick. I don't know what we're... Well, I don't know that we have the Exo Craftmaster, but we do have we do have that already. Um, the, uh, yeah, because um, that one's over here is our Exo Craft. Um, uh, you can send them out. Okay. There's that. What I might have been thinking about doing is um, 
putting in a um, something where I can disguise myself. Uh, yes. <laughs> the appearance modifier. Oh yeah, the stellar gatherer thing. Let's do that real quick. We can do that for sure. That's going to be under the industrial stellar extractor. There we go. Color it up a little bit. Now it tells us it. it, it Basically, if you, you know, are at a place and you stay long enough, um, in theory, we can start seeing this stuff fill out, or whatever location we're at. If we stay, um, if it can, if there's stuff for it to get. Okay, so this says, um, the chromatic metal just is gathered from the copper, cadmium, emerald, and indium in the system. And this says, if there's a scorched a desert planet, we're going to start gathering some of those. Um, this comes from radioactive and frozen atmospheres. And then this comes from lush and toxic planets. So what I'm expecting is if we hang out long enough, we'll get the chromatic metal and we'll get um, the lush or the nitrogen. That's what I'm thinking. So it depends on what's in, what's, what planetary system you're in and where you are in regards to Planet. So if you're right next to a planet that is, uh, you know, uh, I want to call it a best western scorched earth planet, you're going to get a certain thing. And if you're like we are right next to a, a, a tropical planet, you're going to get another certain thing. So, so there. But any planet that has any metal in it is, is, is why you get consistently will get chromatic metal if you have So oh, there, so that's that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to think where the best place is for the, the appearance modifier. I mean, because we could take it. Right. over here in the uh, well yes I'm gonna hit and well what it'll do is I'll come over here and get in front of this glass thing which I don't care I, you know it's a nice view but I got another one over here, you know what I mean. So, and this one goes with... Right, yeah. And what I can do, is I can take it, and um, if we make the hallway, it'll connect over to here, I'm thinking, like right here. And so we'll be able to walk between this and that, for one thing. And then if I expand it out, um, well, just let's just see here. Well, and it's the appearance modifier is a text base, you know, kind of like the money thing. So if I do. You know, we could do that, I think, yeah. The only other thing I think, I mean, if, if we do that, okay, is if we come in back here and we go out past the garden, 
Well, yeah, just put it back here. Okay. Okay. You can put a door there too. You building something? I sure am. Yes. I am, yeah. That that may. Yeah. Alright, so if we put the appearance modifier there, I need carbon nanotube and a solar mirror. So I need a good thing I gathered all those um, all that carbon. kind of call it a secret room, but we're going to call it a secret room. <laughs> I'm going to put the door right there. So then we have this room, which will make it kind of a seating, bedroom, captain's room kind of thing. And we'll have this room for the emergency changeouts. out really well. Look. Not that I can actually see because I'm short. Please hold. There we go. So yeah, that gives us a, gl a glance out into the stars. We can see what's going on with our, our ship over there. And we still have the stellar thing going, and, and it kind of matches. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it could. I mean, honestly, the, um, I could add a porch to this. Well, and, but that would kind of open up. Well, it just put a bulkhead door on both of them there. Mm -hmm. 
Just sort of bring it around. Yeah. And I could put it on the end of the, um... Uh, <laughs> I can't believe we're both... <laughs> second. The, um, change-out room. <laughs> the appearance modifier, yeah, we could make a... Sit down in the chair here for a moment. Yeah, have their 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 break outside. Yeah. You know, if, if I were, okay, I'm, I'm the captain of the ship and whatever, but I think I would like to have, if I were doing that, because I see that big window over there, it might be nice to have, like, a, a small porch out there, or a big porch, you know, to go out and just sit and take in the atmosphere or lack of it, you know, <laughs> I can't buy the fish, yeah. Well, yeah, and it would end up having to be on, uh, if, if it, on the, the seat side, side, I can't go any further in that direction. It won't let me. So, so it'll have to be on the other side, but, but it would look nice, I think. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, this is, some of the stuff we'll do off screen, like I'll make the room probably off screen or in little bits as we're walking around, I'll say, let's put a chair here. Uh, whatever here, but I'm 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 enjoying discussing. Well, what, which, you know, what should we do? Now, you, you'll notice as, as we're talking, we're not doing the really really fantasy ship stuff, you know, where they just take the organic rocks and somehow make you know giant cars or whatever. But it's getting homey. It's getting really comfortable. Yeah, you could totally do it from here, too, just, you know. Yeah. And that, that seems like a natural place to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
It'll work. It'll work. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I think this will be really nice. Yeah, just to give a, a little walk-in space here. You know? And what I notice is, uh, just because I make it and attach it doesn't mean I have to put a door there. You know? But this will be, this will be very nice, I think. So... Yeah, there are all the offices from the from the ship. You know, we can't exactly go all the way over there, but we can take this and we can shade it up. I mean, if the stars are shining right upon us here. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, that's yeah, me too. But I'm, I, that's we're gonna save because I'm, I'm not gonna do much more on the building of the you know the ship here. Um, but we've got to start going. Yeah, and I, I don't think we've lost. I mean, we're going to be okay as far as carbon is concerned. So that that works out just fine. Awesome. Oh well, you know, and we still have plenty of carbon. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my settlement real quick. And we are going to just, you know, check up where things are there and, and do whatever we need to do over there. So here we go. I don't always know what uh, sounds make it onto <laughs> make it on to the uh, uh, microphone, but I was just uh, taking a snack there and uh, and a uh, drink. So, uh, <laughs> so now we're just going and checking the settlement. Um, we have been building a hydro thing. Um, I didn't get back to. Uh, the game last night, so it's going to be wherever I left it off uh, last night. Oh, apparently we're having a bit of excitement here. Go get him, Minotaur! Go get him! Gonna get tall here. My minutes are being useless. Alright, get the neutron cannon going. And falling off. Now my little sentry buddy, if you don't want to be hit, don't fly in front of me. Oh, nice. Okay. Hold on here. Hijack laser. Come into this other room. I'm I'm not saying that they won't hit me or <laughs> whatever, because I'm obviously hit here, but 
All right, let's see if I can fix it here. There's my neutron cannon. I'm gonna press B until I got my paralysis mortar. There we go. And if you're like, why is it red? It's red because I got hit like a gazillion times. All better. <laughs> there we go. like to know, in theory, supposedly, my live-action Minotaur was supposed to help me fight them. So I have to admit to wondering, where is my live-action Minotaur? So does it only fight Minotaur? No, that can't be right, because when I was fighting a Sentinel, it was quite clear. Oh, I'm just talking about how I expected my Minotaur to be shooting too. Excellent question. Maybe it has been. Maybe it's just takes of leading them off or whatever. You know, which is possible. Oh, there it is. How are you looking? Are you doing okay in there? Yeah, you're fine. Well, I guess really though, if it starts shooting and the ground gets obliterated, so I, I guess I understand what's going on. Well, I expected it to be shooting at the, the set flying sentinels, right? But it did not. <laughs> And I was like, what's going on with that? But it was drawing fire. Okay, letting it shoot at him. It just wasn't firing back because it would have been destroying the building. So, I'm a cleanser of worlds now. I didn't say hi hi that the little bit always says hi to me but i'll talk to him here in just a little bit it says make a policy decision all right so we just say so we can do that it says we can remove the root citizens either by getting a sulfurine chamber or by adding a quantum market um i think we're gonna do the quantum market i <laughs> think 
But it says several new research opportunities have arisen, but our community leaders, leaders are divided. Should we support those who favor developing a new industrial technology or direct funding to overhauling our maintenance systems? Um, I think the market myself. Both of them do, so it's win-win. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're making profits already. Well, no, one is an industrial tech. Both of them are going to give profits. Well, one is, um, uh, one is a maintenance system, which I guess would be the sulfuring chamber, <coughs> and one is a technology system, which would be the quantum market. Well, I was, I was leaning, now I'm leaning towards the sulfuring chamber, because I'm like, it might be nice to have an overall of the maintenance system. All right, we're gonna go with X. We're gonna go with the sulfurine chamber. Wait, we're gonna do the thing we do. We're gonna take a look. Go here. Yeah, well, first of all, we're gonna look. Okay, so maintenance cost is 204,268. Uh, okay. And our productivity is 490,000, et cetera. All right. Yeah. There's, there's no best money, it doesn't tell you. The only thing it does is remove and get rid of the roof. But I want to see what happens if we do the sulfurine chamber, because one of these overhauls the maintenance system, which means our maintenance drops. So, let's take a look. Alright, so we're going with the sulfurine chamber. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna come in. And we're gonna go to the settlement status. And, oh, it gave, that's productivity. It gave us uh, 5,067, uh, 567,000. <laughs> that is quite a bit of productivity. I mean, it obviously covers the maintenance cost. Okay, so that's one. So if we come in and we do the quit title screen. No, we can use the reload the restore point. Yeah. We don't want the autosave, we want the restore point that we made. We hope, yeah. And so this will allow us to see what the difference is, you know. Because if the maintenance drops about the same amount, it's, it's an obvious win-win, you know. Right. Because you're still, you're still profiting. Yeah. I have the sound on on my uh, my TV, so I can actually hear what's going on now. Yeah. You know, I, uh, oh, Pepsi's upset with me, my cat. I have two cats. Uh, uh, Pepsi's upset with me right now because I would not let her keep my biscuits. So, <laughs> my biscuit. She's not supposed to, no. Yeah. 
Yep, I, I managed it, yeah. We're gonna stand right here by the capillary cell so things can load in. Come on! He has absolutely totally caught in the building, just like that. Alright, let's see if I can help him some. And we're gonna jump out, make a hole in our ground. Oh, there you go. Alright, there you are. Better? <laughs> oh my god. He, um, he did that, actually. He landed very well, so... Or they landed very well. A, a tree? You know, that actually sounds like a great idea. Let's, let's do it a little ways from us. You know, I've got a lot of stuff going on by the film space. But as I recall, I have a farm. Or a, a place that's supposed to be a farm, right? There's the bar. Oh, I am building something. Building the hydro thing, but not the very fire first time. Oh, there it is. You see it? Blue. Everything else is just orange. Well, let me give him some silver so that I can do. Over. Yeah. All right. I am. I'm gonna put a light here by the. By the tower. I just saw an animal fall off a cliff there. Okay. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Just fell down, right off. <laughs> You're gonna save, because we made those changes. I don't want to have to. Alright. a policy decision and this time we're doing the uh, research yeah. so now if we look at this this one is also 500 it made no difference in, in fact this one is 556,000 so Zero difference. No, nope, we're we're good. But now we have a quant it increases productivity. They both increase productivity, and they got rid of the rear citizen. So now we only have these two to get rid of. Well, and that quicksand has been with us a while anyway. Since the beginning when we had to shoot the rock out. Yeah. Alright, well, we've accomplished quite a bit here. So, the next thing we want to do is go visit one of the bases. Wait. Um, we're still building the, um...
says settlement is ready Tuesday. Current building project will be done in 57 minutes. And so, yeah, we're all ready. I can check and see if there's another one, but I don't think so. Yeah, we're, we're good on the decisions here. to work it. No, that's the... Uh, those are, yeah, the work, those are, um, that's the cadmium zone. Exotic. That's where, okay. Yeah. Let's go see what's going on with our exotic animals there. Bye. <laughs> well, that's true, too. Yeah, you know what I realized this whole time, you know, I was thinking, man, I just gotta have market, and, you know, it's just because I've been playing so long, but I technically have the trade rocket. <laughs> technically, I always have a market. I just don't think about it, because, because it's so new. That would be a great one to utilize like when you're doing like a bone hunt or whatever. And it's just just know that you're selling it all on that market, set it up, and, and just pick a day and make money doing that. Well, yeah. Well, some of them are kind of neat and I wish you could display them, you know? Well, you could. I, well, I don't know if you can make those bones. Okay, here's the tent. That's right, we put a tent in here. And I think we have a moment and let's make something out of this here. Got. Yeah, the not fix. Yeah. <laughs> it really isn't ready. It's not ready, but that's all right. And well, you know, I don't know yet. Let's let's try something here. Let's it, 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 we have not done a whole lot with this. This was a very quick and dirty semi build thing that I did, you know. So I think we could do what I would normally do is, um, like you said, just give it a floor, get it above the grass here. So. Yeah, it would help if this would not do that. This thing is well, it decided that this was going to do what I did not want it to do. There we go. That's what I was saying. It was not doing what I wanted it to do. There we go. Now we're talking. 
Okay, so this should be large enough to have the tent on it. And if not, it's a, a nice little platform. Win-win all around. Yeah, you can. I, I... We might, but I, I'll know where I'm putting the stairs once I have a place. Oh, that's going to work out really well. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and toggle the camera. I'm going to try and toggle the camera so I'm actually seeing it. Such fun, Telemon, not Telemon. this in a while. Oh, well, this kind of, you know, gotten, just done the regular mining. I don't know where the tent went. <laughs> We're gonna have to try this again. Please hold, I'm changing the view. We're tackling the camera view here. Yep, and change the view there. And we're gonna come back in. We're gonna put the tent back down. At least we know the tent is working. Do the camera view and but it looks really nice when we have that test camera being situated. There we go. Alright, step one. I think this time we're just putting the market in the middle like that. And 
let's put a light down. We're gonna use the carbon light, so we won't have to worry about that. In fact, what we'll do cannot build in valid position. Oh, because it's too close to that other one that we got going, I guess. That actually looks pretty nice there. It doesn't need, need seem to need power, so yeah. So we are just gonna put in a nice little decoration. Looks kind of cool. There's a little plant there. <laughs> and then, let's see. Come in here. Tell me about it. Alright. Let's see, I need some candy matter. If we get a guess, they get, you know, they'll get something by searching. Oh, and apparently so will I, that's the thing. A deck relic? Oh, there's the planter. Whatever little little tiny insects are, you know, hovering by those plants. I just kind of love that. The implication is that there are are insects, which makes sense because we have the grass and all that. Okay, why I like this is, okay, let's change the size real quick. One, you can tell I'm really low to the ground right now, you know, just from the view. And two, all right, so here's the deck, right? The deck 
can stand up on these wings. And it's just a hop up. And, and sorry, let me try this again, my poor jet. We love the jetpack until it's not working with us here. There we go. So it's a hop up for this, and, and then I can just get right into the ship. Hop up again, and I'm about half the size of this, this uh, um, I want to say fin right here. So, you know, that's not even a tall fin, it just looks tall to me. If I were Viking, I'd be exactly the right, you know. <laughs> So oh, it's just a tiny little ship, and that makes it kind of a deck ship. And of course, it's a, it's a nice little fighter. It's just a. It's green and orange. Yeah, it is green and well, it's green and blue and orange. You know. So yeah, it is pretty funny. Yeah, cause there's the little orange stripe. There's the little orange stripes right there. Yeah, it is pretty funny. Definitely my ship. Well, you know, that is a great question. I, I don't... I see a trade post. And an ancient ruin, and both of them are off planet. Is that? That is a portal. And yes, I have two. One of the reasons we, we stopped here is that there are two of these uh, survival huts. But there's also this building, which is the. Um, this is how we found the ruin in the first place. So, and take a look. Yeah. A little broke down ship here. This one did not have a back room, you know, it's a little tiny. But you know what? Let's make sure. There's, there's no reason not to make sure. No, it's just a singular base here. You know, some of them do. They're usually just longer buildings. Alright, let's go for a little fly. My shields are fixed anyway, so we're all right. You know, we got the basics here. <laughs> you know, one thing I don't think I've ever seen before is, um, like, here we have this giant rock here, um, and it's got the, like, the plant rocks in just sort of dotting its surface, you know. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And there's a building out of way. It's a ring. Now these rings are part of a storyline that come up later. And that kind of relate to the Atlas, as I recall. No, I, 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 I have uranium though, so we can, we've got launch fuel if we need it. Now what I see here is a communication station though. That's only like a minute away. Now, and... I'm gonna head that direction real quick.
Yeah. If we hang out in the system, we might find different buildings coming out. So what I might do, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure there's a reason I put my uh, foot on this on this place. And, Oh, that's true. Yes. So there are other people probably in this system. Yep. Well, there's certainly a communication ball. And now we see why. Look at that. found us a ship. Well, someone else found us a ship. Thank you to... Yeah, they said an A-class shuttle here. Yeah. Alright. Let's take a look what's in the barrel. A pile of military multi-tools clearly thrown from a rack that once housed them. They tears and spark and look unsafe. The broken body of a tendril behemoth lies awkwardly nearby. The, the ship must have crashed with such ferocity that little elf was intact. I can try out a multi-tool or deconstruct a multi-tool to salvage tech. Hmm. Shall we try out a multi-tool? I've never seen one like this, so... <laughs> the loaded powder's burning my flesh. The multi-tool itself remains operational. So, you could, in theory... <laughs> I did not know this was possible. But you can find multi-tool at crash sites. Did you know you could do this? I did not know we could do this. It's a cute little pistol. I'm gonna take it for free. I'm not exchanging it. Don't exchange it when you have an S class and a C class, you know. <laughs> but if it's free, we can use that at the at the next. Alright, so let me change it out, otherwise I get a little I'll be like, why is this working when I have so many other things going on? Alright. Bring the clarifier back out. I love the name of this. The Handmade Dunningling Clarifier. <laughs> I'm sure it clarifies many things. <laughs> Alright, the Tower of the Corvax. Oh, Tower of the Cor Corvax. Oh, that's funny. Now we're just going to claim the ship. We're not going to try and do much with it here. It's, it's um, right by it. I mean, it's just right over there. Yes. That little green ship right there. Yes. Yeah. And, and what we're going to do, though, is we're going we're gonna to claim it and then go jump in and out of my other ship. Because uh, I'm, I'm looking at the time and realizing we're going to have to... Yeah, there's, there's other places coming up. You know, we've been here long enough, they're starting to show. So, maybe that's something we can do a little later, come back and look at some of these buildings. Now, in theory, what should happen if I, if I just stop here and we go away? This shuttle may not be here, um, because it'll be up at my, um, freighter. There's, there's one that says Uranium. There's one that says uh, Expedition 11. 
gold and some other stuff. Um, there's more gold over there. Yeah, I, but I, I'm gonna have to call. I think we're gonna go visit those places. Um, I really do. But, well, okay. Um, what I'm trying to say is I... <clears throat> yeah. I, I think uh, we'll call it good here. And um, thank you for watching. Yeah, I, I have. But, um, let me jump in and out one more time. Just because just I, I get kind of way where, you know, sometimes I have to do things multiple times. All right, so there we are. We've jumped in and out. We're definitely safe now. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day.